Hi, this is Katie for Gardner Grove Family Farms, and today I'm going to show you how to make garlic roasted tomatoes and two ways to enjoy this dish. I'm starting with these wonderful heirloom tomatoes from Gardner Grove Family Farms that you will get in a variety of different colors and shapes. A lot of people have not seen these kind of tomatoes before, but I'll let you know that you're in for a real treat. They taste amazing, and you'll have a lot of fun tasting the different flavors. I also have some garlic here. You might get this around the same time as tomatoes. And I have a Silpet lined baking sheet. Don't worry if you don't have one of these, you can use parchment paper. I'm gonna start by slicing these into thick slices about the width of my finger. You could also do chunks if you wanna use them in pasta. I just have to stop for a second and show you how cool this tomato looks. And I'm gonna keep slicing from bottom to top until I get to the part that's near the stem. If you have some extra tomato left at the top but there's a stem, just cut the fleshy part off around the stem and keep those chunks. Or what I'm going to do today is cut everything into chunks to use in a pasta dish. So I'm just going to go across and make about quarter inch chunks with those. I'm going to do the same thing to these slices that I prepared earlier. You could leave them as slices if you want to make a bruschetta, but I know I'm going to make a pasta so I'm dicing these into large quarter inch dice. I'm planning to use a whole box of spaghetti, which is about eight servings. So for that, I have here four medium to large sized tomatoes, enough so that each serving will have at least half of a medium sized tomato in it. With that accomplished, I'm spreading these out onto a cookie sheet that's lined with a Silpat baking mat. If you don't have a Silpat, you could get away with parchment paper instead. You might spray it with a little bit of olive oil or rub it with a little bit of olive oil but the parchment will just keep it from sticking to your cookie sheet. The Silpat will do the same thing. Now I've shown in a previous video my technique for peeling garlic. This is garlic that I've already peeled and I'm just rough chopping it into a dice before sprinkling it evenly over the tomatoes that are already arranged on the cookie sheet. Next I'm gonna sprinkle these with a healthy amount of kosher salt or sea salt. I'd say it's about two teaspoons, but it's really to taste and some freshly ground black pepper, maybe about a teaspoon there, and drizzle with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'd estimate no more than a quarter cup, maybe, maybe three tablespoons. And then I'm gonna put that into a preheated 275 degree oven for about 45 minutes. When they come out, they'll be bubbly and the flavors will be concentrated. They won't necessarily have any browning on them, but we're just looking to cook them down and concentrate the flavor. Here I'm transferring these into a large pot that I used to prepare some pasta earlier so it's still warm. And then I'm gonna dump my pasta in right on top of those tomatoes and mix everything up. This isn't like a thick tomato sauce, but it's kind of a light summer dish that just has the lightly roasted tomatoes, the nice garlic flavor, and some olive oil. I serve these just like this. You could add Parmesan cheese at this point or shrimp, some kind of protein. I'm going to serve mine with some baked chicken that I prepared earlier and just cut into thin slices. And I like to present this by placing the chicken on top of the dish like this so that it looks attractive. And I'm not going to forget about my toddler either. I have a tiny serving for her and she absolutely loves these tomatoes and gets very excited when they're in season. Here's an idea you can do with the leftovers. So I'm just arranging these on some toast. This is actually Gardner Grove Family Farm sourdough that I've cut into slices and toasted under the broiler. I'm arranging the tomatoes in an even layer. These are actually cold ones out of the refrigerator, so they don't need to be warm to do this. The broiler will heat them up. And just lay these out on top. I just place them on here and then I'll pop them under the broiler for a few minutes. They're also really good with grilled cheese, and that's where the, I got the idea for this recipe in the first place. I did happen to have a little bit of mozzarella in my refrigerator, so I'm going to top these with some chunks of mozzarella. I think that'll complement the flavor of the tomatoes really nicely. Now here's how these look after they've come out of the oven under the broiler for just a few minutes. The cheese is nice and melty. And I'm going to serve these just by placing them on a plate and people can grab them and go at lunchtime. And there you have it, oven roasted garlic tomatoes served on bruschetta. But I think you can probably find even more ways to enjoy these. If you enjoy this and other videos on this channel, please consider subscribing. 
Check out the description below for more information about this recipe and contact information to get in touch with Farmer James. Thank you and have a great day.